Hey, welcome from Penn State Ave here in Southern Pennsylvania. Dean of DVD. I'm sorry, Dean of Games. I said Dean of DVD in my last... Uh, I have two channels, Dean of DVD, which mainly used to do be... Well, it still is. about More about Blu-rays, movies, and things like that. There's a whole library of stuff out there if you want to check it out. Um, if you're interested in movies, Blu-rays, DVDs, I do reviews. I do unboxings. Uh, I'll talk about the movie itself, uh, what I thought of it. I guess it's a review. Uh, or the packaging, things like that. So if you're a movie collector, movie buff, or just like movies, that would be a channel to check out. This one is obviously for games. And it's Dean of Games. Okay, sort of took care of the dogs there, at least for a little bit. No guarantee he won't start barking again. A little brighter lighting, which might help be helpful for this next game. Uh, this was an eBay pickup. That A game that I've heard a lot about called Champions of Midgard. And this is, so the original game, I guess would be 60 bucks or something like most of these games are, called Champions of Midgard. And then uh, at some point there was a Kickstarter that had two expansions, the Dark Mountains and Valhalla, Dark Mountains and Valhalla. So both of these are included in this box now, normally, Champions of Midgard would not be included in the box, just the two expansions. But uh, the guy I bought it from included all three in this box. And, they were, and the box was oversized with the idea that you could put everything in the box. So, kind of cool that the front cover uh, doesn't have a title on it. And yet, sometimes you miss that, right? But from an artwork standpoint, it's cooler without it. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the Champions of Midgard here on the, on the box. So let's take a look at again. This is this box just highlights what's in the two expansions. So you can take a look here at the two expansions. You see some of the exclusive things that are that are here because it's a Kickstarter version. It lists everything that's in the box, I believe, up there at the top. So if you'd like to pause that, make sure you can see it. That should be focused. I'm going to pause that and zoom in. You can read the what it says on the back of the box. I can't because everything is backwards. Uh, and it also, it looks like another language, but I believe it's just backwards. Yeah, it's just backwards. Sometimes things backwards in, in italics almost look like another language. But you can take a look also here visually and see what's in the box. Pretty cool stuff. And then he threw in a couple extra things. I think he must have purchased these other things, um, I don't know, through it's Etsy or someplace. I'm not sure where. So here's the th this is a worker placement game. If you're familiar with worker placement games, you know that you put different ple people in to different, send them to different locations to gather some sort of materials or gain some sort of a benefit. The map... There's three maps included in here, but I'll see if I can open up the main board map. It's actually quite nice looking. I don't know if you'll see the whole thing. I'll do my best here to show you the whole thing, but there it is. It's a vertical board. Give some idea anyway. It's pretty. You've got the water for some locations down here at the bottom. Uh, there are places where various cards go. I like it. Now the rule book itself for this is actually not very thick. There's only uh, about eight pages, I think. 10 pages, though a couple of them are, like there's an appendix on one page, clean up and game end and final scoring, which is pretty simple, as you can see. None of these are extravagant. I don't think anything looks like it's gonna take that long. I haven't played it yet, I just got it. And I have to now uh, find someone to play it, but I will, or I'll play it myself and, and figure it out and then teach other people. Simple setup, simple goal of the game is to gain glory. You do that a number of ways, primarily by fighting enemies, but there's other ways too. Um, yeah. And then it, it, it's, uh, it's between a two and four player game, I think. I think you can actually play five with the expansion. Yeah, five with the expansion. But two to four um, with the base game. And you just add more tiles, and the tiles... Uh, you put out on the on the board and that gives you that's the location so depending on what 
you want to be able to do. I don't know if I can grab a towel quickly to show you. I might be able to. Let's see. Yeah. Here's a military tile. This happens to be Folk Warriors. So this would give you that tile. If you played like Stone Age or something like that, this will look familiar to you, that type of situation. Obviously, this means something at the top. So you'd place this down on the board in an appropriate location, and then you can go to that location. Let's see, here's a what's this one? Here's an economic. There's, they're broken into military and economic, I think. Yeah, here's, a, here's an economic. Don't know what that is. Scald. This is a game that focuses in on the Vikings. And I'll show you, and I'll show you something that came with it that's pretty cool that accentuates the uh, the Viking theme, I guess. And that is this. This is not this was not part of the original uh, game. It didn't come with it, nor the expansion. So he got this someplace, which I thought was really cool. And those of you that are Marvel fans, this is copyrighted by Marvel, may recognize this this heavy hammer as belonging to Thor. If you can read that, well, I, should, I should know this by heart. Whosoever holds this hammer, be he worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. And this is uh, metal. The whole thing is metal, actually. Yeah, the whole thing is metal. Including the strap here at the bottom. Everything. Pretty cool. So this this is used as a it can be used as a round marker. You kind of put it on the board like this and move it from one round to the next. They also have a round marker if you just want to kind of have, have this thing hang out. It could be a, a first player marker type thing if you wanted it to be. Lots of dice in this game. Uh, plenty of cards. And they're they're sized like this. And you've got various things. As your ship moves, you put your Vikings on ship. You'll get various things. Could be all quiet, could have to fight a monster, could get lost, could be a lot of things that could happen when you're traveling the seas. Lots of little chits that stand for money and things. So there's he actually included metal coins with this too. A bunch of metal coins. Kind of cool. There's another set of cards also. These are thicker and represent your ships. Again, Viking stuff, Viking language. And I've got not only the, like I said, the base game, but also have the expansions in here. So I've kind of got it broken. I've got it broken out in here where the base game is kind of on top. And then as you dig down in, you get to the other layers. This is the Lost Mountains expansion. So you put that board underneath or next to the, the exist, probably next to the existing board. And then Valhalla, which everybody who's played this that I've heard from, has said that from an expansion standpoint, this is one of the best expansions ever made. Really added a lot of value to the game. So, what is that? Pretty cool. Uh, both the Dark Mountains expansion also has a thin rule book. 15 pages, so more than the base game. Uh, there's a couple special cards that are in here. Special stuff that they tell you that was just with the Kickstarter. Same with, uh, yeah, yes, yeah, so I think th this explains a couple differences with the, from the cards. Uh, and the Valhalla expansion is also about 15 pages, I think. Yeah, 15 pages. And again, there's a lot of it is, you know, it's not like there's a ton of texture either. So none of this should be hard to learn. I'm thinking that once I do learn the game and teach the game, then I'll probably always play with the expansion because it looks like it'd be worthwhile to do that. So that's Champions of Midgard. And Leanne and Casey, if you watch this, let me know. Drop me a line at the bottom or shoot me a Facebook post or something. Let me know you, re you heard this one. But this looks like a really good game, so I'm going to learn this. Probably the next time I come your way, I'll have this with me. Uh, same thing with probably Vindication, I'm thinking. Um, hopefully the next time I come up, I can spend a little bit longer there. And... Uh, play a few different games. All right, that's it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And until the next time, Dino Games.